This government seems to be on the verge of total surrender, image, Getty, Mr. Johnson launched his damning attack in his weekly column in the Daily Telegraph newspaper. Referring to the government's proposals, he argued, no member of the government, let alone the cabinet, could conceivably support them, or so you would have thought. Yet the awful truth is that even if the cabinet mutinies, as they ought, it will make little difference. Brussels rejected the UK government's proposal for an independent mechanism to allow Britain to exit any post-Brexit temporary customs arrangement over the weekend. Brexiteers are consequently increasing concern the UK could become trapped in a customs union with the EU following Brexit, leaving it unable to sign major new trade deals or deviate from Brussels in key areas. Mr Johnson stated that should this take effect, our trade policy will be run by Brussels at least until 2022, and at this rate long beyond that date, he added, we will not be able to take back control of our tariffs, our borders, our money, our laws, Joe Johnson resigned. As a transport minister on Friday and called for a second referendum, image, Getty, the government is working on a so-called backstop plan with the EU, which would see the UK remain in a customs union with Europe if a long-term trading deal cannot be agreed upon. Eurosceptics worry that unless the UK can easily quit this relationship, it could become permanent. Trade policy for the EU Customs Union, which has no duties between members and a common tariff on external trade, is controlled directly by the European Commission. Mr Johnson was fiercely critical of the government's proposals, which he argued will lead to a relationship even worse than EU membership. Anti-Brexit protesters march through London, image, Getty, he asserted, under these proposals, we are agreeing that the EU would have a say on whether this country is capable of making that final exit from the EU's essential institution, the customs union, we are on the verge of signing up for something even worse than the current constitutional position. These are the terms that might be enforced on a colony, Mr Johnson added, this government seems to be on the verge of total surrender. He also used the piece to comment on the resignation of his brother, Joe Johnson, from the government on Friday. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage at a Leave Means Leave rally, image, Getty, in his resignation statement Joe Johnson claimed the government's plans will leave us trapped in a subordinate relationship with the EU and called for a second referendum on the UK's EU membership. His elder brother agreed with the basis of this statement, writing, As Joe Johnson rightly points out the current approach is the worst of both worlds, this deal must be thrown out wholesale, the cabinet is due to meet later today to discuss the state of ongoing Brexit negotiations.